Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to another episode of Shadows of Abaddon. Well, it's been a little while since the last time I've done an episode. It's been just about a week, actually. Uh, I didn't even plan on recording one, but I actually figured out, you know what, I have the time, so why not pop back on here and uh, hop back into the game for a little bit and finish up some more of the mod. We're on the absolute home stretch right now. Maybe not quite the absolute home stretch, but only a couple of bosses left to go, about two more before we get to the end of this mod, and then that'll be it, that'll be wrapped all up. I will say, the most difficult thing in the world right now, because I am planning on doing a Let's Play of it eventually, is avoiding all of the spoilers all over YouTube about Journey's End. I, I couldn't help it, but come across some of the other things, new bosses and whatnot, I, I have not done any in-depth ex exploration or researching or anything into it, I just know that it is, there, there are things that I have seen, is what I will say. I'll avoid spoiling it for anybody else that hasn't seen it yet. It's trying to avoid spoilers like me for those who haven't got a chance to play it yet. But, uh, yeah, it has been a task. First order of business is I'm pretty sure after we defeated Arger, there was something else down in a little text that it said, something about the festive moons. I'm pretty sure that's talking about the pumpkin moon and the frost moon. So there's some new stuff there that I'm sure we're gonna have to deal with. I know that we gotta take care of that. I know that there is a new ore, or a crystal, something underground, flarium crystals we have to go looking for, so I don't know if those are underground in the flame-raised caverns, I didn't see any over there, because I did go back, I went back there because I was informed of this new item right here, that drops from Arger whenever you defeat him underground, and I will say, that adds a whole new dimension to the fight, I built this arena over here, this big underground pit that I did my very best to just mine out to face off against him in there. I died about two times fighting him. But what this thing is, is it is a very crazy item. It is a Scarf of the Undying Flame. It's a challenge item. Formed from the embers emanating from Argur's soul, which bring life to the forest's inhabitants. 10% damage boost against enemies above 50% life. 10% damage decrease against enemies below 50% life. When struck by an attack, a protective barrier is summoned that reduces damage taken for five seconds, after which the barrier is shot out as homing missiles. So, this is this is a pretty interesting item. I haven't quite explored enough with it yet, haven't fought any bosses or anything really to see what it actually does, but it seems like it's going to be a pretty effective item. But I don't know what to replace it with, like I don't know what to swap out for it. I do know, I tried to reforge it, and uh, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you what it actually costs to reforge this thing. It is a whole heaping whopping 33 platinum. And uh, yeah, I just don't have that. So there's no way at all that I'm going to upgrade it. So we're just going to leave that right the way it is. I'm sure it's powerful enough. It don't need no upgrades. But with all that said and done, we have the medallions, the, the medallion and the naughty present already. I farmed up all that stuff off camera. It's already been taken care of. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually show the events themselves because... We've already seen the, the Frost Moon and the Pumpkin Moon before. It's, you know, your standard invasion. You know, your leveled invasion. So we'll just... I might end up doing that off camera. I might show it in the event that there is something new that actually shows up. But if not, oh well. We'll get that done and taken care of. But before we do that, we're going to go down here and we're going to go exploring for these new crystals. I'm assuming they're down here because, like I said, I didn't see them in the flame-raised caverns anywhere. So I'm assuming they're down here. So... Unless I see anything new, I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna dig up a whole bunch of them. That looks like them right there. They're very bright and glowy and orange like last time. Flarium crystals. Now, I know I make draconium alloy out of these things. It makes a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah. Draconium alloy. What does it actually take to make one of these things? To make an actual bar. So I need five of those vials of fiery blood from Arger, some ember bark, which I have plenty of, and some traces of chaos, which I think I still have some left over. But I need a flarium forge, that's right. So to make that, I'm going to need 50 of these flarium crystals. So I'm going to mine a whole bunch of them. There's that effect right there, undying. Damage taken decreased by 50%. There's the explosion. That's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. That is pretty beastly. I might end up swapping out one of maybe one of these emblems down here with that because I feel like the extra damage that I gain from it would be pretty decent. I'll just have to remember to swap it back out in the middle of a fight after I drop whatever boss I'm facing off against down below, what is it, 25% health it said? 50% life? After I burn through that first phase, I'm gonna have to remember to take it off. But anyway, 
that's enough rambling, rambling, rambling. There, there's your not being able to talk right, all taken care of and out of the way right there. But yeah, that's enough rambling and raving for right now. Let's just mine up some of these crystals, and I will be back whenever it is time to craft some cool new items. So I'll see you then. All right, so I'm back up at the surface. I've got about 423 of these things and a whole inventory full of junk. So let's deposit all this stuff in there and then make the flarium forge first. So what did it say that it needed? It needed 50 flarium and the 30 ember bark and a titanium forge. Let's pop this out here, adamantite, I guess it would be in my case. Throw that in there and where, oh, where are you? I suppose it'd be faster if I just searched for it. So I got a flarium workbench first. That's what it requires to make out of it. So let's throw that in there. And then we need the Flarium Forge. There we go. Flarium Forge. Good to go. So, let's see what kind of items I can actually craft now. Can I make the Draconian uh, Alloy? Yes, I can. How many can I actually make? I have quite a bit of the Vials of Fiery Blood from using up all those other medallions to fight Arger. Should be able to make a good bit of them. So let's do like 200 of them. There we go. 200 Flarium, or uh, not Flarium, Draconium Alloy. It feels warm. I bet it does. It is made out of the blood of a fire dragon, so I bet it probably is a little toasty. So where is all the stuff? And you have Flarium Anvil. Okay, I see now. All right, I'm missing a little bit of pieces here, stuff I didn't know about, but that's fine. There we go. Flarium Anvil. Okay. Now. If you don't mind. Now there is some of the cool stuff. So what do we got here? Radiant Blaze, all the melee stuff. There's a whole bunch of options there. Let's keep on going. Where is the throwing stuff? There's the throwing stuff. That's what I'm talking about. So there's a couple of summons right there. Might make one of those with whatever I might have left over. Blazing Discus explodes on enemy hits, and the Corrosive Flask explodes in a violent cluster of fire. Ooh, that sounds very fancy. Well, let's make both of those, see what happens. Of course, I got Annoying. That makes perfect sense. And the Blazing Discus. Now, what about tools? Is there anything, any new tools? There's a Flarium Ham Axe. Is there a new pick that comes along with this? Flarium Pickaxe. I should be able to make it. I have all the stuff for it. There it is. Is it any better than the Oblivion Miner? 260 pickaxe power and 200 axe power. It's 270 pick power. And it's a material, too. That makes the Dragon Drill. Okay, so that's definitely something that we're going to craft. Make that and the Ham Axe both. All right, and now for the armor set. What do we got right here? Okay, it looks like these have different helmets based on your class. So we'll make the breastplate. I might need to go down and mine some more of those crystals. Yeah. I have enough bars. I got plenty of those, but I need to go back down and get some more crystals. I'm gonna go do that real quick, then we'll back up and we'll look at the whole set. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so we got the flarium cowl. That looks like it's the throwing thing, so we'll grab that. There we go, we got a big brand new set here. That looks pretty cool, I like that. All right, so, Flarium Cal, 33 defense, 45 increased thrown damage, 28% chance not to consume thrown item, 29% increased thrown velocity, 21% increased thrown crit, max health up to 20, increased by 20. Flarium Breastplate is 30 defense, 7% increased life regen, max health increased by 50. And then the leg plates is 20 defense, 45% increased movement speed, max health increased by 20. And the set bonus is taking fatal damage will revive you with a third of your max health. You will have one minute of increased strength after rebirth. So that sounds a pretty valuable because I do know that I really, for some reason, enjoy death. I don't know if that'll be necessarily a massive boost to damage, but you know, it could be. That's quite a lot of uh, percentages right there. So we'll put the Quasar set away. It has served me very well. So now with all that extra stuff, are there any new potions that I can make now? It looks like there are. Actually, it looks like this is one of the old ones that I could make, a Nightmare Fuel Potion. I need, I need traces of chaos for it. It must be pretty powerful. 2% increased regeneration, 50% increased damage, and plus 50 HP. That is a very expensive potion, but you know what? It might be worth adding to our list whenever we finally do face off against our next boss, which, or bosses, I guess they are, the Lost Siblings. But before I do that, let's look at some of these weapons. Actually, you know what? I forgot to look through the accessories. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself right now. So I'm pretty sure in that little list there. Okay, there are some new things down here. So we got the Glass Soul. Damage increased by 100, getting hit instantly ends your life. So what? I guess that's the death mode right there. Shadow Dodge is disabled. Huh. That is very, very interesting. Serpent's Grasp. We got a new hook. But I could have sworn I had seen that there were wings that I could buy. Or not buy, make. I don't have enough bars. I'm gonna have to make a couple more of them. Ah, there it is. All right, we got Flarium Wings. Allows flight and slow fall. Let's craft those up real good here, real fast. 
I love that. I love the particle effects. Does it fly me up higher than the quantum wings do? Oh, yes. Much, much higher. There's the improvement. Okay. Gonna have to spend all my platinum upgrading these things, probably. Oh, well. All in the name of upgrades and progress. So, now let's take a look at some of these weapons right here. Blazing Discus explodes on enemy hits. That is a lot of damage right there. Very, very big numbers coming up. Is that more than the uh, Dusk Fall? Just about on par with it. Flask. We do have a new one of those. It's uh, not got a very good upgrade, but it's definitely more damage. I'm sure once I upgrade it, it'll be uh, much better. We have a lot of... Uh, a lot of upgrading I gotta do before I can move on. I am a glowy orange man. I am going to melt this house just being inside of it. All right, goblin, what's the damage? Ugh. Every click hurts. Oh, and of course, I cannot forget the fiery catcher, 80% fishing power, and can be used in lava. Which is going to be very useful because there is a new potion that I can make called the Draconium Skin Potion. Massively increases defense and damage reduction. I don't know if that stacks with the Endurance Potion as well as the Iron Skin Potion, but you know what? Another great potion to add to our little collection here. We have a lot of farming that needs done. And I know that these Blaze Furies apparently require fishing in lava in the flame-raised caverns or in the flame-raised forest. I think it's the caverns. This Endu Flora, I have no idea where that is at or where you find that because I have never seen it. I don't know if it spawns on like grass underground over there or what, but I know that I need to get some of this, but I've never seen it. So that'll be something to keep an eye out for at some point. We have a lot of things to do before we finally get up and face off against this next boss. I did get everything up to Unreal. I got the weapons upgraded and I got the wings up to warding. It took like all of the platinum that I had to get them up there. I was lucky with the flask, but everything else was pretty much, you know. Goblin was being a little stingy. He drives a very, very hard bargain. He's a ruthless businessman. But anyway, it's finally getting close to nighttime. And I think, like I said, I'm gonna do these events right now, but I'm probably gonna do them off camera because, you know, like I said, we've all seen, we've all seen these events. And if anything interesting happens, I will put it in the video, but if not, I will see you whenever the events are finally completed. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so the events are all done and over with. You didn't really miss very much of anything. Nothing new happened. There wasn't much of a, of a difficulty jump or anything like that. None of the bosses or enemies got any harder. It was just the standard events progressing as they normally do. No new items, except for a couple new ones that did drop from the Pump King and from the from the, what was it, Fr Ice Queen, Frost Queen, uh, if I can remember what they're called. They're like fragments. Yeah, right here. Fragments of Blight and Fragments of Hatred. I got quite a bit of each one of them, and I can use those to craft a summoning item right here. Emblem of Sorin. It is a material. Calls forth the Lost Siblings. I can use an Eldritch Spark, some Fragments of Hatred, and Blight, and some Draconium Alloy. And that will give me the item that I need. So, as you, I'm sure you've noticed, I have quite an inventory filled to the brim with a whole bunch of potions. I was not able to find any, uh, yeah, Enduflora. This stuff right here, I was not able to find any of it. I don't know where you get the seeds from it, I don't know where it grows. So, unfortunately, no Draconium skin potions. Just gonna have to make do with what we got. But what we have is quite a selection right here, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem to face off against these guys. I don't know what to expect. I have never seen them before, as always. I've done no research, so... It says that they can just be summoned at any time. So, uh, I guess I might as well just call them forth. Ah! As I get attacked by a wyvern. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just wipes them right out. Anyways, yeah. What is the material, though? I'm curious about that. I know that it makes something. Has to. It's a material. Air's authority. Cannot be used with a glass soul active. I suggest not using this in multiplayer due to unpredictable behavior. Dan, oh. Uh, okay, sends out a signal to the king's son. That's interesting. Don't really know what that's for. Okay, anyway, whatever. Enough looking around. Like I said, I guess we'll just buff up and we'll call forth the boss. Let's face off against the lost siblings. Should be good to go. I'm going to, before I do that, I'm definitely going to put the worm scarf back on. Let's switch out... Uh, let's swap, I don't know, Destroyer Emblem or Ninja Emblem. Let's swap it out for the for the Destroyer Emblem. I, I couldn't care less about the Critical Strike. I'm sure I'll be fine, but... Okay, here we go. Let's just call forth the... Uh... Oh, I, I almost completely and totally forgot. I did, I do have a Flare Elemental. It was a, a summon. I don't know what happened to the staff. I think I might have accidentally put it back inside the chest, but uh, yeah, I have a little buddy right here now. As much as I hate to part with the Stardust Dragon, 
Oh well. So, anyways, enough rambling and raving. Let's use the Emblem of Soren and call forth the lost siblings. Buff up, bring it on. What do we got here? Solarius Voxodustite. Whoa, 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 okay. There is a lot of stuff all going on at the same time right now. Uh, okay. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. All right, we got, we got stuff going on right now. There's stuff going on. I don't know what, what, what I'm doing exactly. I have no idea. I know there's stuff flying at me. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Okay. So it looks like there's four of them up there. Um. Uh. What's, what's happening? Anybody want to tell me what's happening? Anybody? Anybody got any ideas right now? I just know there's a lot of things going on right now. Is that a mini dragon head? What is that? Oh boy. Okay. Okay, there's there's a pink one up there. What are they called? What's her name? Okay, so it looks like they're themed after the pillars. Oh my god. I I I, I don't know whether I should be nervous about what's going on right now or not. I really don't know. Go out there, undying attack. Oh god, it all targeted Dustite. Uh, I guess he's done. Up, oh, one down. Dustite has been defeated. Oh, hello. Interesting music. I like that very much. Healing. I'm not hitting them at all, it seems like. But it looks like this won't work. Let's just rain down on them. Surely the. Oh, wow, right in the face, huh? I don't even know what to do right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what's supposed to be happening. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that things are going on. Okay. It seems like the majority of my damage is being done by my little accessory over there. These are not doing a whole bunch of damage. Not that I want to get cocky or anything. I just know that stuff's going on here. I love the way the abilities look, even though they're very viciously trying to kill me. Ow! Maybe all I gotta do is just fly in circles and dodge most of their attacks until that thing comes off cooldown, and then I can just... I don't know. Wait for it to kill them. A very anticlimactic boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Nuba has been defeated. I've defeated somebody called Nuba. Oh, okay. Okay, they're doing something different now. And I've defeated Solarius. And now Voxa. Oh, that's like that little chibi Voxa that I got, that little pet. She is hitting me for a lot. Very hard. There's hearts down here, aren't there? Yes, there are. There are a lot of hearts down here. Okay, what? 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 What's happening? Okay, I gotta start hitting her. I don't know what it is that I gotta do right now, but I know that I gotta start hitting her. Okay, come on, Voxit. Fall down, and you're dead. Okay. I've accomplished something. I've received no treasure bag. It's not over yet. Okay, what's happening right now? Oh, hello. What? No, Novaniel. Um, hi. Hi there. Oh, this is the Quasar one, it looks like. Okay. Um. Mm. Oh wait, what? There's a timer up there? Hold on a second, am I being timed right now? Okay, I have a time limit for something. Something to happen. Something is happening. Okay, so there's stuff going on there. Fly in circles, hit very hard, get hit very hard. That's make sure we accomplish that before we do anything else. Get hit very hard. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hi there, overwhelming pain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I gotta pay attention. Let's not forget about that aspect of this whole little game right here. Stay up on there. Okay. Circles. Green circles. Whoa, boy, all right. That's like a guaranteed hit. How am I supposed to dodge that? In what way do I dodge that ability? I can heal soon, a couple seconds. Okay, buff back up. 
Get that reduction there, that damage, whatever. Couple more seconds, few more seconds, there we go. Healed up again, where's he at? Hello? Hello? Where's he at? Oh, he's down there. Did I actually dodge that? Okay. What's that? What's he doing? I have a very limited amount of time left. What's that? Stuff's falling. I'm not paying attention to my health. Laser beams. People flying. Good lord. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, we're alive again. Where did he go? Oh, come on. What is that cheap ability? How do you dodge this? What, 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 okay. All right, then. All right, we're down to the last bit here. Just gotta dodge for a little bit longer. A couple more hits, and he's done. He's going down, there we go. Running out of time, and there we go. Oh, my dear sweet Jesus. Novaniel has been defeated. Whew. Oh, my God. Even for the last few seconds there, my heart was beaten, but I must have got really lucky there. I actually fought the boss down here. I made a little arena out of space because it seems like the biggest problem for me fighting all the way up there is I have a tendency to fly all the way up to the top of the map and then I get stuck. Like what happened with Abaddon. I end up getting stuck floating around in that like low gravity and I get caught in one of their abilities. Whew, lost siblings have been defeated. That was a very, very difficult boss fight that I died very many times to. Every single one of these potions right here was from fighting the other four siblings who were just an absolute tease. They were far and away easier than Novanio. I don't know why I had so much difficulty with them. I think it was just the time, the time limit. That's what killed me most of the times. I just didn't have the ability to hit them. That was the problem of fighting up in space. I kept running away from them too many times. But there we go. Done and over with. Oh boy. All right. Now, let us open the treasure bag and collect our spoils for our suffering. All right. So we got 34 luminous energy, energy used by Sora Needy to power high-tech weapons, and Manic Star Scourge. May your friends keep you safe. Oh. Okay. This is pretty decent. Oh my goodness. Wiping him out. Okay. Well, let's head back to our base and let's see what is up with this new luminous energy. What is it? It makes a whole bunch of stuff, it looks like. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Wait a minute. Air. What? Arizor. Uh, okay. Battle. Uh, let's not click that button. Shop. Oh my. Okay. There is a whole bunch of stuff in here. So I guess the boss, it, the next boss, the last boss, or whoever it is, is the, uh, is our next little companion? Is our next NPC? That's interesting. Who are you? Nuba. Oh, that's the one of the, uh, that's one of the siblings that I defeated earlier. This is a strange world you live in. Brett has been telling me a lot about it. It seems to be similar to our homeworld, Soren. However, it is not a moon, but an actual planet just like Cyrus. Assemble armor. Place an Exitium Lux armor piece? Okay, there's a whole lot of stuff here. We'll look over all that stuff later. Right now, we gotta put this stuff in there if I will be allowed to do so by the Vortex Slimes. Do you mind? What is that? Whoa, wait a minute. What was that? Looks like there is some new stuff going on right now. Anyway, okay, before I get sidetracked again, let's put all that stuff in there. Take a look and see what I can do with Luminous Shards, if anything at all. It looks like I need something called a Teridium Infuser to build any of this stuff. What is a Teridium Infuser? Does Nuba sell it? So, okay. So I guess this is what I do with the Lanidium coins. I gotta buy all this stuff here. She sells a Quasar Monolith. There's the Teridium Infuser. Where do I get an Infusion Crystal from? Exidium Lux Helmet? Lux Enhancement Shards? Where are all my coins at? I have 952 of them. I'm sure I can buy a whole bunch of stuff with this. All right, there's the Teridium Bars. But it looks like I need the infuser. Where do I where do I get an infusion crystal from? Do I make it out of this thing? It doesn't look like it. What does it even look like? Does she give it to me? All right, well, it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff to go over here, a whole lot of new things I'm sure are about to show up, but I believe the video's been going on for very, very, very much so long enough, and I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, and we can just go all over this stuff in the next episode, which might very well be the last one, I don't know. I guess we'll be facing off against you next time.
Sorry about the very, very late upload. Things have been, uh, all that, all that people stuff, that adulting business that goes on, really, really likes to get in the way of everything that, uh, happens on the channel. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.